what what drives you to be this way? My granddad. When my granddad passed away in 2015, he taught me to never let yourself be pinned in a corner. And when I say that, never let yourself have one way in. You have to have multiple ways out. So I can go into school academically or athletically. And while I'm here, I want to have multiple careers, multiple options. I want to have my pick of what I can and cannot do. If I want to go be a polit politician, then I can be a politician. If I want to go to law school, I'm going to go to law school, med school, whatever it is, veterinary, whatever it is, that's what you got to do. That's what you have to do. And he just instilled that in me from a very young age. I remember when I was young, my granddad had degrees plastered across his wall. And he said, always put your education first. Never let sports be your only way in and out. And that's just something that has stuck with me for a long time. That's why I go and make time for SAC. I go and make time to volunteer. I go and take time to wrap Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. You make the time for the things that are most important in your life. And my granddad was my most important person in my life. Wow. Wow. When your time is done on this earth, how do you, how do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as a servant to others, to be a rock for others. Um, that was kind of a loaded question. Not going to lie. Um, I never kind of really thought about that. But that's that's part of the things that I want to be remembered by. A uh, great personality, a standout guy. Um, always go the extra mile for somebody that needed something. That's just something that I want to be recognized as someone that helps and that serves and that had a giving heart and that was always outgoing and positive. If I if it was to ask your teammates about you, what do you think they would say? Oh, I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> I, I'm not sure about that one. Um, I just try to live my life in a way that people can judge me. I don't worry every single day about what my teammates think or what other people think. I believe if I'm going to prove something to somebody, that has to be myself. Has to be myself. I can't go and say, oh, I'm going to go bench 500 pounds and not believe that. I can tell whoever I want that. But until I believe that myself, then what's the point? So I, I don't go every single day thinking about, oh, my teammates think this about me. Oh, my teammates think that about me. Most of my teammates don't even know I won vice president for SAC or I'm nominated for a award because that's just not who I am. If I'm going to grind, I'm a grind in silence. People shouldn't know you moved until you got them house keys and you walking into that door. People, people shouldn't know that you just got a brand new car until you're driving it around. People shouldn't know that you're out here grinding every single day, helping every single person that you possibly can until somebody comes and say, hey, dog, like I heard you've been doing this, that and the third. But if every single day you're looking for accolades and and people to say congratulations, then you're not living the right life. You're not like you're out here trying to get approval from other people rather than approval from yourself. Approve and love who you are and grind to who you are and set a standard for yourself that other people can't match. That's just how it is. That's just what I what I live by. And if I'm going to go help people. That's what I'm going to do. So hope, if my teammates listen to this, sorry, guys, um, definitely would like your input when this comes out. To <laughs> hear what you got to say about what I just said. So hopefully all positive things.